I think what it is about Carl is individualism. I think they've got a real strong point on focusing on the ind individual as, a f as opposed to focusing on a brand and having to look and adhere to a certain like, criteria. Like, Carl's just all about what it is that you like about clothes, however it is you want to wear it, and just free expression of that. So we always try and fit in with what people are thinking. Oh, what impact it has. Um, definitely on fashion and obviously the, all the different cultures and different, you know, there's lots of people, different styles all in Liverpool. And we do obviously a lot of rework as well. So I think it has a really big impact on obviously students and obviously with it being a vintage store and obviously with everyone wanting to have sustainable fashion and everything, it's definitely becoming more popular because obviously so many more variety yet to fit loads of different people's uh, personalities and styles and yeah. I think it's a great place for young people to come and express who they are through fashion. We have different ranges of styles and different ethnic backgrounds that come into the store and just like, communicate and yeah, just exchange styles and have real, have real opinions on how they want to look and how they want to be seen. So you can just take anything that's in store, you don't have to look a certain way. You can just wear whatever it is that fits with you and, yeah, wear what you want. Yeah, I think collectibles. I think clothes are always going to be collected and as we know, like with even my parents, like fashion always comes back around, but I think it's people's interpretation what makes it last. It's people who were always looking to take a certain style and make it different, make it their own, give it a different spin as opposed to what it, how, as opposed to how it was the first time around. So yeah, vintage fashion, I think it will always be on the streets a little bit. <laughs> From when I first started, I feel like there's a lot more, you know, the, what's it called, you know, Baltic Triangle and like the gentrification of that area. I think to me it's about showcasing the best of what it is that you offer. I mean, whether that's music, whether that's fashion, whether that's art cultures whatever develops you as a person and being able to just harness that and yeah show that to other people the best way you possibly can. All the people who come here and shop here always embrace the different styles. It's always a good conversation point when someone's buying different clothes and different colours and just making it their own. Yeah.